What's in the box? We know what's in the box. It's a picture on the front of it, Mike. What is wrong with you? What's going on guys? Michael Panetta back with another video and today taking a look at another Wi-Fi mesh router. First one was my Google Wi-Fi. Eh, it wasn't really that good. Then I tried the Asus something or other. Couldn't remember what it was. Didn't like it. Returned it. I did end up getting one that I have not showed you guys, which is the Orbi, which has been working pretty good. Oh, okay, I should say. It does have its issues here and there. However, today I have another one from the folks over at Ubiquity. This is the Amplify HD. We're gonna crack into it and we're gonna see exactly what it comes with and we're gonna set it up. Look at that. That's just the outer box. Then there's like an outer inner box, like an inner outer inner 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 box. No. Look at that. Ready? Look at that thing. Good lord, that's that's some that's some presentation right there, you know what I'm saying? This is the main hub, which is what's going to be downstairs. And it's got one, two, three, four Ethernet ports. Uh, the Ethernet going to the system. Power, which looks like USB-C. And one USB 2.0 port. Let's put that right there. These are the two uh, mesh extenders, I guess you want to call them. The points that you put over your house, all over your house. Now, this is a 20,000 square foot system. I would think I would only need one of these because I have learned from my good friend, Mr. David Sacconi, who knows a lot more about this than I do, that sometimes more isn't always better when it comes to the mesh system because whatever you're on is trying to reach a signal. And these create a whole entire network, but sometimes it will jump from, you know, connection to connection to get the best uh, setup. Now, I don't know if this does the same thing, we will see, and of course that will determine the performance. I may only need this and one, maybe like upstairs, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm guessing this is going to be the cords, the ethernet cord for for this. There you go, nice, uh, nice cord there, and uh, directions, but hey, who needs directions, right? You've got the plug, which is in here, which does look like USB-C, pretty cool. They do have apps on Apple and on Google Play, so you can download those. We'll check it out and see what they uh, can do. Tells everything that you need to do to hook it up here in the quick start guide. Seems pretty simple. I'm guessing the app will do the exact same thing. And uh, let's check it out, I'll show you how this works. Setting up the Amplify HD couldn't be any easier. You're just basically just gonna plug the power in, lights up a really cool ring at the bottom, and uh, the display comes to life and it starts connecting. And simply take the supplied Ethernet port, plug it into the blue connection, which is for the Internet in. Then you can download the app, or you can tap for other options. In this instance, I went to iOS and downloaded Amplify Wi-Fi. Now, I've had simple systems to set up in the past. I've had very difficult systems to try to set up. Ubiquity does an awesome job walking you through the steps that you need to do to get this up and running. Setting up the mesh Wi-Fi points is as simple as plugging it in, letting it boot up, and it will tell you how strong your signal strength is. These antennas are connected by a magnetic ball. You can move them around a little bit to increase your signal, or you can simply plug it in somewhere else to make sure you got a good spot. The system has a pretty intuitive touchscreen where you can see your uploads and downloads. It'll even tell you which ports are taken up on the back of the main unit itself. The front of the main display does have the time and the date on it. And you can even see what your total upload and download is from a certain date. And you can also see your WAN IP and your router IP. Now, once you're in and you have everything set up, the app has a ton of features that I could spend an entire video on. You can adjust the LCD screen. You can adjust the LED if this is someplace like in your bedroom. 
You can do night mode. There are advanced network settings like static IPs, DCHP, support for IPv6, support for VLAN tagging. I mean, this thing is endless if you're someone that is serious about their Wi-Fi. You have the same settings for your mesh points around the house. You can adjust the LED whether you want to have it on or off, the same thing with the sound system. There's even a performance page which will allow you to run a test if for some reason you don't know why your internet is slow. It gives you real-time stats for your upload and your download speeds. There is the guest portion of the Wi-Fi which can limit the amount of guests, how long they can be on. You can share things like the password. There are additional settings onto this which allow you to go into setting all of that up. There's the family page where you can see who's on, uh, what they're uploading and downloading. You can pause all the devices. There's a diagnostics page where you can check and make sure that everything is up and running and you can diagnose if there's a problem. The additional menu allows you to go to the home page. You can get a help center, live support, and remote access. So, my first impressions. Well, I really like the design of this. I like the usability and how easy it was to set up. The performance so far is good and I am happy with it. I do want to spend obviously a lot more time in real world testing as I'm watching videos or downloading or using the Apple TV uh, and so forth to see if this is something that is better than what I'm currently using and uh, if something does come up how easy it would be to fix the problem. Before I go, I want to make sure I give a huge shout out to Joel Duff for helping me shoot this footage today. Turned out absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, Joel. And be sure to check out his vlogging channel above. Of course, I do want to thank Ubiquiti very much for allowing me to test this product out. Without them, this video would not be possible. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you guys all so much for your continued support. You have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video.